so I actually need to hop off because so I, I actually have my game to play. Yep. And I will grab someone else to jump on with you, and we'll go from there. Yeah, we're going to be looking for a really intense couple matches, a cup coming. And then the uh, finals are going to be crazy. But this is going to be exciting. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. So, What's up, welcome. Man? Thank you. It's a picture of salt. It's, uh, Kevin went home because he lost his matches today. <laughs> but uh, that's fine. We uh, we experienced a lot of salty players today. Yeah. Jared, how you doing after that match? Yeah, it's terrifying. It's is uh, you kind of get scared to win, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Last Mountain Tomb member, you got you gotta uh, represent, support us, support us in our time of need. Um. Uh oh. So we're waiting on Jerdy as he disconnects his controller and walks away, and then uh, he had the nice match to play because he's silly, but he grabbed his uh, Can of Mountain Dew, so he's gonna be energized for this match. Um, can't possibly lose. But it's going to so be uh, Mountain Dew versus Water again, which is uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be really intense. It's got to represent uh, H2O. We need it to live. All right, so uh, we got Mario versus Fox here. Mountain Dew Jared representing. Uh, this is Mario's really strong. But you never know. Well, it's yours now. <laughs> Leave your Wii U, it becomes property. <laughs> Free game, man. So I got my Wii U for somebody dying in my neighborhood. It was horrible. Seriously? Yeah, was, uh, we were trying to switch internet plans, and then they're like, you can't switch, your neighborhood's full, and somebody died. Then they're like, yeah, you can switch now, and we got a free Wii U for it. Uh, That's terrible. Yeah, it was pretty, it was, uh, you know, the good that comes out of bad. So man, uh, how you doing? It's uh, doing good. Got uh, eliminated pretty quickly, but I uh, won one match, so I knocked somebody out of losers. That's good, man. Representing the Mountain Dew Clan, it's, it felt pretty good. Yeah. Um, we are part of the Mountain Dew Clan. It looks like they're gonna go to the battlefield here. Yeah. Live? Always that fist bump, because it's gotta be. All right, so we got Mario against Fox here. Yeah. Looking for a really good matchup. I expect, I expect Mario to come out to an early lead. But so you never know. So, like, uh, what, what, what do you think about uh, this matchup? Um, it's kind of whatever. We've seen it already before. Yeah. Um, I don't think either of them have a clear advantage at all. Yeah. I mean, with the stage, you can, like, do combo. Uh, I think with the platforms, Mario's got an advantage here. Yeah. Fox, d Fox, uh, Fox does do well with the platform, but not so much being on them, I think. He, yeah. he really needs kind of, um, the platforms will mess up combo. I mean, Mario, he can, like, get out the combos really quickly. Uh, Mario's got a lot of good defense. He's got the cape, he's got the flood. Yeah. But, um, and Mario also has, a, like, a really good combos. Yeah. Uh, and he's always got the extra damage from Fireball. But his smash attacks, though, I mean, they can be useful at times, but you're not really going to use them all the time. Um, Mario's execution doesn't necessarily come from smash attack. A lot of it is grabs. Yeah. Oh, the first a lot game. of his grabs, or uh, a thing I see a lot with Mario's is they charge their flood and they get it uh, over the edge yeah. and just blow them out when they're using their up jump. So it's kind of, it'll depend on uh, the play style or what he can do with how it's going. So. What Jordan needs to do is rack up a lot of damage, so when he loses his stock, he's still got a high advantage. Yeah. Just get about 70%, uh, and then it'll be okay for him to just kind of die. Not, I mean, clearly doesn't want to, but yeah. at about 70%, it'll be fine for him to die. I was about to be like, whoa, man, he's going to die like that? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe just execute himself. 
So both people are definitely not looking to SD, especially on stream. Yeah. Oh, oh. yep. That's Mario there. And he's going to charge his flood because he knows he might need it here. But Jordan here, he gained enough damage on... Uh, he gained enough damage where uh, he definitely can do execution. So yeah. we'll see what's... Uh, if Mario can pull off a stock here before he gets executed. If not, I think the match is pretty closed. Yeah. But you never know. Um, a, lot of, a lot of upsets. Yeah. Mario just executed him, so now uh, Fox is definitely Ooh. hoping that he can get an execution without taking too much damage. I forgot, is this uh, finals or grand finals? Uh, this is not grand finals. This is um, to play. I don't believe it's grand finals. Oh, I'm sure I wasn't really paying attention this whole time. You seriously gotta watch out for those fireballs, man. Like well, they don't add too much percentage, but it's definitely Mario's uh, thing to do when people are idle. Yeah. They're waiting for someone to make the first move. Hello, Turbo, Turbo Man. Man. Welcome, Tur Turbo Man. Hello from commentators. If he can stay about under 50% and get this execution, he will have a pretty good chance of winning. Yeah. Um, and as far as Mario is concerned, any percent he gets is uh, good for him. Yeah. If both people are looking for grabs, though. Uh, Mario for combo and Fox for damage. Yeah. Although Fox can do some pretty good combos out of that. Looks like uh -oh. Mario's, Mario's just comboing him. Um, See, with Mario, he swift. Like, he, like... Sup, Zoltan. Zoltan, he is sup. He needs that fireball to stunt him. Lots of shields. All the time. Oh, and this is looking like it's about to be it here for Fox. Jerd's gonna be. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was so, an execution. Uh, that's really good by Mario. Lando uh, taking first game. Looks like I'm having a bit of quarrel. Jerd made a silly mistake. <laughs> Jerd, use the Mountain Dew power. Jared's first mistake was relying on uh, caffeinated drinks to power him through. Water <laughs> is uh, food for the brain. Whoa. Jared, don't. Are you serious, Jared? Jared's going to go to his uh, backups, backups, backup because Jared's secondary is Falco. <laughs> so Dark Pit. I don't know. Last time uh, last time Jared played Dark Pit, I haven't seen this before. Yeah. This is going to be. Um, it's been ages since he's played I Dark heard, Pit. I heard Jared did uh, Dark Pit before he uh, started picking up Fox and Falco, so. I mean, in your opinion, what do you think of, uh, uh, what is it, Dark Pit in Pit? Um, I find that it depends on your play style. Yeah. They, uh, their side Bs are different and their arrows are different. I believe on Dark Pit you don't want to use arrows, and I believe on Pit his side B, it depends on the map you're playing. Yeah. With low ceiling maps, I think Pit is better, but I think for the way Jared plays, he's going to definitely want to pick Dark Pit every time. But I think it's a mistake to pick Dark Pit because he's not as comfortable with the character. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen. It's also, also, he has, still hasn't lost if he loses this match. So he's got a little room to mess around, but mm, doesn't really want to be. I think at this point, uh, George is kind of giving and having a lot of fun. Yeah. Both people are for sure. I mean, they they seem, they, they're really good friends. Oh, look at that, look at that bear. Mario's being that classic throw from 64. Do you play uh, Project M? Uh, no, I don't, do not. No, he hasn't in a long time, but uh, Dark Pit's a, it's a strong character. It's just, um, it's kind of like you have to rely on grabs. Yeah. Uh-oh. Grabs in the know-how. That's oh. the power of Dark Pit. You can recover from almost, uh, there's a lot of stuff there. And he goes for the taunt. <laughs> George's definitely about uh, rubbing it in. Yeah. So far, it looks like it's working out, but uh, as we saw last game, uh, there's if no indication of how it's going to end. If Mario can get an execution, like... I mean, well, Mario just needs to get a well-placed smash attack yeah. um, or a grab. Well, if, uh, Jared, he needs to rack up enough damage to where if he does get killed off this one stock, he can at least have something to like go off on. E yes. It's, uh -oh. it's, 
That was really good by Druid. Yeah. I guess his Dark Pit pick is actually kind of working out for him here, which is um, impressive. It shows you the amount of characters these guys actually practice and play. <laughs> that was uh, expected by Mario. Yep. Now he's charged up his Flood as to see how he's going to use it here. Do you think possibly if Druid's trying to recover Side B, he's going to use it to... Definitely try to blow him, but he's, uh, yeah. Side B here isn't going to much recovery. He's, um, it's got a shorter range than Fox's. And it's dangerous to try to challenge that kind of side B. Yeah. But at the same time, if you have, um, so it's like a kind of like Ganon side or Captain Falcon side where they try to use side B to recover and you've got two stock, you kind of just jump out and let them take it. Yeah. And it'll be a free, uh, free stock for them and they'll be dead. So. Uh oh. Whiffing the electro shock there. So. Uh, the thing about Mario is he always just smashes his face into you. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Not really good time to use Electroshock now, because with the end lag, it can, it can be punished really terribly. Really easily. Yeah, it's, um, the thing about it is that he's just looking to get it off to get a lot of damage yeah. and get him out of the ground. So Mario is good ground control. He's also really good in, this, really good in the air. You gotta avoid his up yeah. The thing about Mario is that he's always falling or he's not fighting, he's always throwing fireballs because that's 3% damage. Yeah. Looks like at the moment, uh, Jared's getting that rage built up. It's gonna be unfortunate because every hit he's gonna make is gonna rack up that percentage mm -hmm. and lead to execution. Uh oh. Oh, oh yep. there it is. That's Mario. So one stock, one stock now. It's, um, Mario's but got a clear disadvantage, but he's also got rage, so yeah. it can make for really quick but yeah, if execution on get this instant. execution. That's it. That's game right there. Absolutely. Uh oh. Mario's definitely gonna be going for that grab. Yeah. So he's trying to rack up enough damage. But uh, his grab is one of his main ways of execution, so he's gonna be going for it for combos. And then he's gonna try to combo that kind of combo. He's gonna try to do that, that kind of grab and do a combo for an up B. Oh. That is gonna be dangerous for Jerd. Yeah. Uh, because. His only way of recovery, and he can definitely get down spiked into Oblivion or spiked off the map there. Oh, oh there you it's uh, really close on oh, one well placed strike from either of these guys, and it's about to become it. Oh, oh there yep. it is. And Jerd gets it in his little celebration fist pump. <laughs> Jerd getting too hype over here. As, uh, this is an odd pick by Jerd. We don't really see a dark pit a lot. Either. Yeah. Jerd. Why are you playing Dark Pit, fraud? Alright, who won that one? Alright, so 1-1? Uh, yeah. 1-1, one, one, it's tying it up. Going back to Fox here. So going back to Fox after that. Uh, I think that was a good, actually, uh, going, going back to Fox is a good decision here because um, yeah. he'll be used to playing his pit, but uh, a lot of these people don't really freak it up. Play. I think he definitely, uh, Lando definitely knows that his recovery isn't as strong. Back to Dreamland, so. Seems to be uh, one of the main maps they play on stream here. And it's because uh, it's, yeah. it's a really decent map. Plus, it's a classic, too, so like. Everybody loves it, dude. I say you don't like Dreamland and just get out of my house. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh. And that is a typical Mario right there. So you def oh! oh, he got that cape off, and that is one of the many ways he deters you from coming back. Yeah. So uh, definitely stops a lot of recoveries that way. And you see, you see that a lot with Mario's cape and flood to stunt people. Yeah. Um, also, you see a lot of down throws into uh, up B's after a couple hits and. That is usually kind of an execution for Mario. Yeah. At a percentage, foxes are like that. If that happens again, that's it. Um, but uh, as soon as like Jared's going to be hoping for just a couple combos and a couple grabs to even up the percentage, and yeah. hopefully he'll get the stock off first, which will give him a, an advantage coming to the next stock here. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. It's uh, damn it, Nathan here. So Kevin is getting salty in the chat. 
That's fine, Kevin. Fox just needs to get that up smash. He's sprint into it. Oh. But uh Ooh. Mario. That's gotta sting. See this is um it's not really uh critically important that either of them win this one, but they would probably obviously obviously like to win this one. Yeah. Sure, always loving those dash attacks. So they're really good on Fox, so. The grab to an up there with the lasers. The lasers sound so good in this game. Oh, oh yeah. But uh, maybe uh, this happened uh, previously between Skylar and him. Yeah. Where he came back from this, which uh, you never know. Uh, Cataclysm, this is not Grand Finals. This is uh, Losers. Finals? Jared, is yeah, Jared's in Losers. He's trying to recover out of it. Alright, yeah, this is. I believe. Losers finals. I haven't paid any attention. They just dropped me on the mic. Jared getting up uh, those combos. Just saying at a low percentage. Nice. That's fine, Zold. I'll just cry myself to sleep tonight. Your insults, they hurt. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. Now, Mario's recovery isn't uh, as strong as Fox's, but yeah. um, it's kind of dangerous to challenge. But, like, well, anybody's recovery is dangerous to challenge. I mean, with Fox, to me, it seems that his recovery is more dangerous than any other characters because of that long pause, so he can just get spiked off the uh, edge. Oh, there it goes. Now Fox has just got to feel his addiction Mountain Dew here and win. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Dragon Spook is waiting. He's, so I think he's playing casuals at the moment. Yeah, he is. So, um, yeah. Yep. Mario's got that uh, face smash to Sonic superpowers. Sure, definitely moves. I'm naming this. That was uh, Lando. Lando, uh, destroy Jared. Disappointing you. No, it's fine. You got this. You guys are having a good game. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get his excitement level down so he'll uh, concentrate better for sure. Top cake, indeed. No doubt wasn't just holding me for sure. Uh, just wasn't paying attention. Jared. Jared. Kevin's watching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jared loves you, all the homo. All the homo. <laughs> So, uh, Jared actually told me, Kevin, that he wants to come see you and uh, give you a big hug, sloppy kiss. <laughs> All right, so this one's a very important match. Here. Uh, Jared needs to win this to stay in it. Uh, otherwise, he's going to be Lando's immediately starting with the flood. So, yeah, uh, the stage. What do you think about it? Just, yeah. uh, I don't pay attention in school. I'm not going to pay attention here. <laughs> I can't say I ever pay attention. So actually, right now, you probably punch me in the face. Maybe 30 seconds later, I come find you. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, side B. Fox shield, perfect the, shield. Uh, Cap. It's a cape, but. Oh! oh. So SD <coughs> is gonna make Lando mm -hmm. definitely throws him off his game there a bit. Gives Fox, especially since Fox is at 33%, it's gonna be difficult. To well, I don't know, not so much. Um, 
a lot of what we're seeing is his percentage is kind of, they just get up and it's gone, but. Yeah. They just kind of flux, fluctuate. That's how this game works. Uh-oh. Fire. If he had landed that cape, that would have been done. Yeah. So, yeah. I like how they have that as a throw. Is him. I always picture Bowser's stupid ass getting choked. <laughs> Back here, or back here, I mean, sorry. Oh, the flood. Yeah. So Fox is coming down early of the year. Uh, he's def Lando's definitely trying to play with the cape and flood a bit more this uh, this match than he was the last two. Now the next cell, there he goes, goes landing a hit. Or <laughs> sorry, uh, up smash. He definitely wasn't in the air that time. Uh, can confirm. You're staying with that three stock. Well, I do not think it's gonna last for long now. Do you him being at such a high percentage? See, like 104. Um, that's like an execution right there. Yeah. And well, it depends on what move is used. Yeah. That platform came in was actually pretty good for Jared. Like if uh, Lando can just get one up smash, then that's it for Jared. So um. Yeah. Should be. But he's gonna keep going with those throws and trying to get him when he's trying to recover. Yeah. Oh. But it looks like Jared's about to take this. Um oh, yeah. and three stock. And uh They're definitely trying they're pushing it to the last minute here, so this is when he gets really intense. It's a good thing I'm wearing my diaper today. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a good chuckle. Uh, George strapped on his, ja uh, his diaper for this game. Selects. Oh. No, don't select one. That's final destination. Mm -hmm. Stadium. You ever go to that Pokemon Stadium? Never. Final that destination team. for the final match. The intensity levels are off my charts. Hype is too real, am I right? This is actually a 72 stock game. So you can get 72 stocks. Whoa, Clearly. Zotin. Language, man. We can't say that. Seems like uh, only you viewers and like two other people are actually watching this match. Nobody cares. <coughs> Everyone else is playing casuals, and yeah. that's fine. Not much that can be said after it, I suppose this many matches between Mario and Fox. Um, that won't be me just repeating myself again and again and again. Mario seems to be in control so far. Uh, which is good for him. Him got rip controller. It's actually. Uh, I ripped. I ripped the controller in half afterwards and took yeah. out all the parts. I can't believe somebody get salty that much. Uh, I could see it. S. Dean is like terrifying. Yeah. Did you make George Rich Foot yesterday? That's crazy. I mean, still, like, going outside, smashing the controller. Yeah. Uh, he, S. Dean lost the match and just went outside and basically took it by the cord and whipped it into the ground and half of it exploded. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, the, like, basically the C6 side kind of just exploded and all the parts came apart. Um, yeah. And then I took the controller and ripped the rest of it in half and took out the inside. <laughs> Why'd you do that anyways? Uh, I was bored. <laughs> Boredom is a powerful tool. So it's, uh, Mario has that to an early advantage in this game. But Cuban though, that's salt. 
And that is really oh. good by Fox. But I feel like Mario is just going to get a quick, uh, he's going to get a grab off here and then it's going to be execution. Don't you hate the intensity, like his final match? Like um, I don't, I don't get those uh, match jitters. Absolutely, absolutely, Kevin. Uh, it's like controller is my uh, child. Destroy my orange controller, I would uh, then have to destroy myself. That is an up B for Mario. Charging flood. Down this throw. It's gonna be difficult for Gerald to come back here. Um, he can do it. He's done it before. He's done worse. So. Yeah. But Mario is just probably, he's probably going to play it safe and just try to get a lot of damage off. For is example, exactly uh, what he used to do. him against Skyward when Skyward was Captain Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I open just... Uh, is either person's game really and it's actually exciting to see uh, I don't have anyone to root for because Jert's dead to me <laughs> oh. going for the cape oh needs to get one more uh, one more well placed hit here and he'll about uh, even it up or so so if Jert can just stay below 50 then he's doing he those uh, thunder thigh kicks there <laughs> Oh, well, there it goes. That was nice. All right, so Drake Lando's got to be feeling the heat now. He can bring this back. He had the advantage. Kevin, my virgin eyes. I can't read that language. takes it. What's up, Skylar? Welcome to the chat. Skylar. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's coming to you? So, uh, yeah, I know. So I'm gonna be leaving. Uh, I was popping. Jared, I just got bodied because I'm a fraud, but it's all good. See the chat. I'm sorry, man. Okay. Don't step on the court, son. I'm joined by Ellie on commentary. <sighs> yes, I do. I'll make sure I do it, Matt. All right. So the last. I'll make sure I update. Of the Mountain time. Dew team has fallen. <laughs> All right. I'm sad. Okay. So I got third place. <laughs> sure, I'll go home. Oh, okay. I'll go home. After it. Hey. The hey, Skyler. How you doing now? You doing all right, man? Oh, God. So, grand finals. We have more land. Yeah, overseas. I'm not. Matt. Humongous sword. Yeah. All right. So, dude, how does tournament go for you? I got so third place, so it's okay. Do you feel you're playing good? I don't feel like I'm playing my best today, but I was just really sad that my team, they all fell. It's okay, man. <laughs> Next, I got seventh, dude. I play like ass. Hey, man, Skylar, we're playing zombies when I get home. Do you get the giant, dude? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Do you, do you have it on what? PS4? Yeah. Black Ops 4? 3? Yeah. I need to buy a new controller, though. What do you want? Wait, can you play it tonight? 
Not tonight. You can't play tonight. I have school tomorrow. Oh, that's bro. right. You suck. <laughs> I have work at six ten in the morning. I was gonna play for are a little bit. Are we supposed to change the camera? Yes, we are supposed to change the camera. All right, boys. Here we go. Oh wow! Roy's heavy combo food. Cause he's a fast faller. Orlando's pretty heavy. Did he beat you? Yeah, he destroyed me. Oh, my oh God. man! Cause he caped me at like twenty five percent, and then game two he got a leg cramp, and I had to pull <laughs> his leg to help him out, <laughs> and then I SD'd. I, I was like, had hella momentum. I was like winning. Not winning, but I was like hella getting calm. Bro. I got destroyed. <laughs> it was too low. You told me. Hell, it's the mind games, bro. Oh. I almost took one off. Focus on your match, son. Fake match, Olsen. I wouldn't say that Cataclysm. Mario deserves to be this good. He was so yeah. bad in Brawl. <laughs> it's okay if Mario's good so now. Aerial is like one jump. Yeah. So oh, no tech. Rip. Like me, I never tech. It's hard to tech, dude. Cause it's like that multi-hit BS. Well, okay. I checked one wall spike today, so that's a good thing. I didn't. <laughs> I was getting destroyed today. I died at 67 from a wall tick. <laughs> and he went up two stocks to nothing. Uh, oh, bruh. I almost got that read. Up here. Oh, he could have continued with the up airs. Oh. Mario is balanced in a sense that he does everything amazing. Well, shield stun. Now he went from being great to amazing. Many so people cool. are considering Mario top five in the game now. I don't blame him. I think he is. I think he's second. Like, I don't think he's second. In the game. What do you think that is? Do you huh? ZSS. Second in the game? Oh, mine's not second. It goes like Sheik, ZSS, and oh, good F smash. Let's see what he does with him when he's off stage. Oh, he just lets him recover. Uh, uh, he tries again with the stage spike, but he doesn't get it. Put the mic closer, fam. Leave me alone. It's not, you're just so like, awkward. Um. I, I am awkward, dude. <laughs> but it's okay. I look awkward and I talk awkward. Well, you look like Ness IRL. I don't you look don't like look Ness. that awkward. I'm not 10 years old. <laughs> I'm 16. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> that, son. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ness isn't in high school. No, uh, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, good F smash. Mario's in danger. Roy, but he got Roy at high. Oh, oh. good roll read. All right, this comeback isn't impossible. Mario up smash is way too safe. Your, your aerials are way too safe. Oh, Shut up, Fox so is what? crazy. It's easier to hit an up smash than aerial. Not really, not when it's My obvious. Opinion, it is. Wait, you know who Cataclysm? Oh, good dunk. Oh, did dunked. you see that? Jesus. Oh, my <laughs> the dare to dunk. It's a me, oh, Mario. Lord. Good stuff, Lando. Game one. Let's see where Matt takes him. All right. Yeah, man. Otherwise, what? You do it. You do it. I'm holding a can of Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh God. Oh, uh, what's up, Kevin? How you doing, bro? Oh, uh, that's Kevin, the Cataclysm. I forgot his you name. You told me to go home. Get out of here. We're <laughs> <laughs> like, oh god, this is not a good start. Kevin, if you quit Smash, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna we don't. You. We don't bring that up. Okay. He'll be fine. I swear, man. <laughs> don't worry, dude. We don't want you to quit because we love you, dude. Yeah, man. And we want you to keep we playing. We care about you. Anyways, I throw. Oh, look, this is a already an even game. That Mario combos, though. Dragon Spook is really good at getting those side beats. Dude, I don't know, man. The, oh, oh, the, oh, no, the another SD, SD from Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, get come out of here. Come on, dude. A beast. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Right. Actually, he didn't get the final hit. That's why I didn't kill. My boy said it's the <sighs> Gerald or okay. Gerald. It's not Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> All you're gonna call oh, is Gerald. He, tries to go, he always goes for that down throw fair. He's not Dr. Mario. <laughs> oh, I tried to get with the bear, but Matt read that. Oh, Good down smash. Wow, that down smash. Almost interrupts the recovery. Oh, in the sweet smash. spot there. 
Two spot S smash. Whoops. Rip. My language. Oh, this is a uh, down variant of the side view. He you can. You can. BK uh, Chef, Chef. Oh my. Oh, it's already an even game. Mario's combos are just insane. Our Orlando's been on point today. Oh, yeah, good F feeling. smash. Oh, no tech. Ah, he shouldn't have gone for that. Maybe that was an untechable one. No, it wasn't untechable. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Shout out to MT and D boys. Even though we all fell in this Oh dungeon. my gosh. Ah. Jumps out. Last hit. Oh. There's not a lot. Oh, you could have gone for a fair, I think. Alright. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Oh boy, where is this? Melee? Melee Marth? <laughs> uh oh. Back throw. It's a back throw. Not gonna kill yet. Matt, with that amazing DI. Oh! They had their right idea, both of them. Oh, oh good, good roll read. read. Double reverse two stock, son. Let's see if Lando won't SD next game. game. Unfortunately, that cost him. Yeah. Just eat twice. Just hurt, dude. And three out of five. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Good job. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, one one. Oh, good. They won't trip. Fine, yeah. So down throw. Uh, I don't know who. Really good combo for Mario. All the jabs. Hey, Skyler, you gotta join the crew, son. Yeah, man. We crew battle people. Yeah. That has to be our tag at <laughs> Evo. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah. That was a good, nice tipper F smash. What are you doing? Oh my god. Why do people actually take time to do that? I know, right? This is like so <laughs> like, ugh. Oh, red the oh, wow. wow! Red the get up! And dead! Wow! Man, what is S-Mash? Kills from across the stage. It's so good. Roy hits like a truck. Oh, Ooh. good tip for F-Smash! I would say in this matchup, Mario wins. No, solidly. Yeah, Matt's such either. a good player. I think it's even, in my opinion. I feel like Mario struggles with sword characters. Mario only struggles with people who are either <laughs> no against like people like Rosalina who can like wall him out extremely. How about we don't talk about Rosalina? And people like Sheik who are just too fast for him. Even though that's probably his worst matchup and yeah. it's still winnable. <laughs> oh, read that too. Oh boy. S matches is going back and forth. Uh, Clean set. Oh, Ooh. I would try to bear there to get the tipper F smash again. Goes for a back throw instead of a down throw. Good F smash. Can't seem to do anything to him off stage. It's really oh, hard to dude. end guard Roy. Matt is so on point with those. All right, try to get the up smash read. Oh, gets oh, nothing wow. after that up air. Oh, gets another sweet spot. Oh. Down throw. Matt's up starting there. to run away oh, with this. this. Is fair of the platform. I don't think he would have reached it anyway. All right, good near. Oh wow. All right. Oh no! Oh wow! Don't know why he tried to FD, uh, tried to up B out of that. Oh boy! I feel like okay, Orlando I needs to choose his spots more carefully because Dragon Spook is reading him. Yeah. Where he's going. He keep. There should be no reason Roy gets that many yeah. uh, sweet spot S smash because we all know Roy's sweet spot is inside. Give no. The Good job! I was about to do that. Good job. Oh, are we gonna see a character change? Did it work? It pops up during the main capture. Okay. Let's see what happens. Lando thinking hard. 
Will Lucas work? Is he gonna go Lucas? Does he secondary to him? Link? Yeah, oh, I knew Lucas. it. I called it. I called it. What's up, son? DLC boys. Lucas. All right. Yo, shouts to you eight people that are watching, guys. Eight Almost people. double digits. <laughs> we were hitting like 20 something yesterday. <laughs> huh? No, I think it's because it's like tipped off was like streaming and then we were like only people up that late. Exactly. <laughs> oh no, PK fire. <laughs> oh boy. Nice. Ah, nice. Good to get up. Oh, PK fire. We're rooting for Lucas. Lucas is such a cool character. Oh, he, he caught him with a jab from behind. That's this is a DLC grand final, son. Take notes, Zolson. That's how you hit the OD and not SD. Ah, oh, the dash tech just too slow. Oh, this is the grab. Oh, what? He could jab out of that? Well, fa that Skylar, crazy. you're Meta Knight. That doesn't count. That's like your like, only option to like, get in. Of course it's going to work. Attack. Oh, the oh. stage spike! I, I didn't even expect that to work. Oh. I'll pick a fire up in the air. Good recovery. Using the tether well. Oh, oh tries to get the okay. roll read. Oh, no punish. Oh, I good sorry spot dash, dash attack. attack. Yeah. Oh, good grab. Good up tilt. Oh, couldn't, couldn't get the PK fire out. Oh man, up throw, not dead not yet. Kill yet but next one probably yeah. will. Oh, and the good bear. PK fire? Nope. It's the punish? Oh, oh nothing. Oh, I think up throw might have actually killed there. No. Oh, he misses up. No, no way. Oh my god. Oh, so Thanks unfortunate. It's Matt biting him into the behind. This is another grab. How, why is that so safe? Why? Because Roy has crap range. Oh, wow. Down throw, dash attack. See if he's going to game with. I want to see a fairy read. Roy Lucas up smash. He goes like fairies. <laughs> oh, ah, nice. Nice. That was Nesto. I kind of jumped into it. So he was trying to edge guard him. Yeah. Oh, oh, almost had it. Oh, wow. Nice Double comeback. Oh, that's it. Oh, and then that F smash. Dang, man. Dragon Spook is two on point with those with these reads. Are we, is this the sign? Is Dragon Spook going to be the top player in all? Th no, a top, no top five in the RV Smash game. We're top missing three. some players though. We don't have Ricardo here. No that Skyler. is true. No Ricardo, no Skyler. We'll see them next time. They don't really need the. Skyler does. Skyler, you realize to get in the playoffs, you gotta get like first or second next week. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Oh, that's it. I believe in the Skyler. Shout out to Dragon Spook. <laughs> Finally Thanks took a tournament in Smash 4, his first one. Greta Smash play in Alaska. What? Dragon Spook. Incredible. I meant it when I told it. Remember when he took PM finals? Yep. I said he's the best Smasher Alaska's ever seen. I'm not wrong. So you want to interview him? Yeah. Okay. Right. No problem. Hey, Matt. Matt. You want to interview? All right, man. Skyler. You gotta get first next time, because if not, you're not going to playoffs, and that would freaking suck. <laughs> well, shout out to Lando also for getting second. He's pretty much secured himself a playoff spot. Anyways, peace out, Kaiser. You have a good one, man. Good games. Good games. All right, Matt. Been a long time coming. I know you've grinded this game a lot, but you finally got it. You took it. Took a tournament. How do you feel? <sighs> I feel great. I'm glad you do, man. I'm really happy for you. 
<sighs> so, what what do you think has been the hardest part adapting to this game? Um, just getting used to the rhythm and the speed because, like every fighting game, you have to play at a certain speed, right? And that creates yeah. a rhythm when you rhythm how you press buttons and stuff. Yeah. When I first played it, I had to play so much slower yeah. than what I'm used to with Melee and Project M. And now that I've gotten the rhythm down, it was it was matchups. And last week when I got beat by Affinity, that Rob player, I yeah. went home and <coughs> I turned on level nines for characters for for, for characters that are used by players that I can't beat yet. So First it was Rob, and then I overcame that pretty quickly. And then I was like, okay, who else am I having problems with? It's Mario and Fox and Meta Knight. So pretty much whenever you fi have a character that you're having trouble with, you just fight a level 9 computer of that computer over and over. Yeah, the, uh, the answer is just, just play against computers. That's all it is. And, like... Like, you won't, you won't practice against like picking up players' habits. That's stuff you have to do, in, in when in tournament matches and in friendlies. But your character is only capable of doing certain things against characters like combos and whatever. Yeah. You just need to make sure your the combos are down versus them, so that when you play against people, you know. Every time you get an opening, you gotta make as much with it as you can. Yeah, that's that's really smart. I mean, I honestly thought um. That when I play, like in order for like to me to improve, the only thing the thing I find that helps most is just trying to play people who are like way better than me. Um, that's probably not the case. That's how you're gonna get like smarter. You're gonna get faster by playing against level nines because their reaction time is perfect, right? So yeah. if you can keep up with something that does, I'll be a pre-programmed but perfect reactions. Yeah. Um, um when. Yeah, it's like it's the fastest you're gonna have to be able to play is if you play against something with perfect reactions. Yeah. And obviously humans are less than perfect. They're gonna have slower reaction times. So then it's all about creating traps for them to fall in and baiting out things and punishing them when the, when they happen. Yeah. So so like when I played against Manny and Lando. I, it wasn't about being fast, it was about being smart. And I already knew I was as fast as I could be, and every time I get an opening, it's all in. Yeah. So you got your bread and butters down, like, easy now. It's just a matter of now, just neutral game and reads. There's, al there's also, like, flowchart things that I do that make it so, like, I can just throw out attacks without having to stay on the ground. And I don't see any other Roy, sp Roy players doing that. Hey, do you watch uh, any, like, pro players play Roy... Like, There's uh, no good Roy players. That's why it's that's why it's hard. I mean, like last summer when people were starting to say, "Ooh, and that's not that good. It's just Marth and Project M, right?" Yeah. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna pick him a new character that nobody plays and there's no footage, tournament footage of anywhere, and yeah. I'm still gonna win. Two weeks later, I won a, I won K Pack with with Ness. Yeah. That's, and, that's a good. That's a good no. And good it it just comes from grinding it out at home, like. The night when I went home from the last rain bets, I was there for like six hours. I just, I stayed up till like six or seven in the morning, just playing, getting a little bit faster, getting a little bit better, memorizing this or that, experimenting everything. So you've actually been practicing and grinding a lot, a lot, a lot. You would say? Um, maybe not a lot, but like it doesn't happen very often anymore that I actually sit down for a session. But when I do have a session, it's like. Six hours long. Wow. That's good. And it's not like you can just do a little bit a day. Like, that's not, like if you're trying to sharpen up because you're already the best, but it's been a while and you just want to be sharp, that's when you do it for, like, 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. But if you're still trying to improve, you got to go way past that. Yeah. I mean. Like, ima like imagine, like, uh, imagine, like, your skill. It goes up at a certain rate when you practice, and then when you're not practicing, it goes down slowly, and then when you come back, it goes back up. So yeah. the more you practice, the better you're going to get. Yeah. That's true, man. I mean, you're evidence of that. I mean, I'm sure that many people have, you know, as you can tell, the people you who know, have been getting better results of late, the people have been practicing a lot. Gerald, for example, you know, he was, when he was, like, first starting, 
I mean, I can tell Jared practices at home because he gets turnaround back airs every single time. That's That stuff's hard to do, especially with Fox with how fast he turns around. Yeah. Like, I can tell, like, when someone's able to do something that's really difficult every time, they have they had to have practiced that, like, thousands of times. Yeah, for sure. And his Gerald's setups also are really smart. Like, it covers one thing, and if you do the one option that beats it, then he has something else immediately after that'll beat your... Do, you, do I take physical notes, or is it memorization? Both. Um, I take physical notes to help me collect my thoughts like when I can't record them anywhere and then when I'm practicing I'll experiment with ways to beat them mm. but like memorizing bread and butters that's all memorization and muscle memory you you, ha you have to do that yeah if, like like if you're if you're in my position where you had to have made it all up as you went um you can't really get it from somebody else but if if you see somebody do something that's a good setup and you're like oh wow that's that like covers all the options and it does good damage and it's uh, fairly usable, fairly easy. Write it down. Yeah. And then later when you go to practice, just replicate it and there you go. It's added to your options. Yeah, man, for sure. Huh? He's fe he's he's feeling great. This man is a top player, top five in probably every Smash game. He's gonna aim for a top spot. On, on a national scale, for like a period of time between like jet between like November and like February, it was like Mewtwo King could play PM Melee and Smash Four, and yeah. then people got good at Smash Four, and then Mewtwo King started getting wrecked left and right in Smash Four, so he just dropped it, because then he blamed him, because he didn't want to play Sheik because it messed up his Melee Sheik, and then that's that's valid, because like when I switch between uh, Project M and Smash Four. Like for a few minutes, I have some problems, but yeah, but well, I meant like he can he couldn't find a character because he didn't know how to beat cheat because anyone he used he didn't want to grind out the matchup because he kept switching Mario, Falcon, Rosalina, picked up DK, and but then the thing is he never like he never had like a foundation in it. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Well, the, the main the main thing is like there's a difference between like. You know, how I'm doing it, like, I have, like, my foundation still. I think Falcon's, like, my main thing. I just find it really fun to, like, learn a lot of people. I've, I've been inspired by Infiltration. What, <laughs> like, learning a lot of different characters helps, too, especially because when it comes to learning matchups, it helps you become more intimately familiar with what the character's weaknesses are. Yeah. So it's just, like, better... Th yeah. Like... One of my weaknesses right now is that Roy is the only character I play. Yeah. And even though I've played against, like, the best of the best Mario, the best Fox, the best Meta Knight, the best Falcon, and the best Ryu, um, I can never, unless I play them, I can never know the matchup as well as I could as if I, you know, actually played them on top of playing against the players that use them. Yeah. So, so don't, so don't take it against, so don't put it against yourself learning to play as characters as long as you're going to go back to your main because you'll know things that they'll fall, that they'll fall victim to yeah. better than, say, me, who doesn't play as them. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. I mean, and like earlier we were talking about, like, you play Falcon, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm never really particularly threatened when I play Falcon. Maybe it's just poor representation up here, but... And like the only thing I have to worry about getting hit by is Falcon Cake and Raptor Boost. I'm never worried about. I'm usually not worried about the spike, because I can see it coming and I know how to dis I know how to avoid that stuff. And the knee, like nobody can set up for the knee. They just throw it out, and sometimes I just get randomly hit by it. And it's up, just like, oh well. Up here, no one knows how to do like the knee setups. Like I know how, but I'm like bad at it. That's like one thing I gotta grind out because it is, there's ways to do it. I've seen people do it. I watch Fatality, you know, one th like, crucial thing is like down throw, and if they spam, air if you know they're going to air dodge, you just wait, and then you get a free knee. Yeah, but that's something like Falcons up here don't, don't really, like, work on. A knee setup's <coughs> mini. I think, I th like, I'm just imagining this. You could do whatever throw sets up for the up air, 
um, do the up air anyway, and if it hits them, well, it's just more damage. But if they do the air dodge, then you can just automatically do the knee, and the knee should catch them out of their air dodge. Yeah, it's, it's it should be the case, but a lot like, of times, like, how you have to do it, you have to, like, jump, and then you have to hit it, like, while you're jumping, and if you space it wrong, you'll still hit, but you'll get a sour spot. Yeah, well, is, do you have anything else? Exactly. Not really. <laughs> yeah, learning other characters, like, playing other characters will make you more familiar it'll help your main character too because you're just like you know what my my character uses a certain play style but this other character i feel like i have to use something different and then you may discover something that's applicable to your main just like bombie said yeah like uh people are like oh roy's supposed to be a defensive character i'm just like well i'm not a defensive player how am i gonna make this work um I'll i take just, care shadow Sorry. All right. Goodbye, Shadow. We'll miss you. XO, XO. Oh my gosh. We gotta watch that later. <laughs> Main oh. one Armada so Smash some Melee Summit Finals. <sighs> well, good thing I'm content to watch replays. <coughs> yeah. There aren't very many things that I've watched live, surprisingly. But you, but you still like watch the replay in depth? Dude, I, I watch the replays like 10 times so I can be like, okay, what do they do? Like, also, watching high-level games will will tr will train your brain um, when you're watching the game at the speed that it should be played at at high level. Yeah. And if you're not moving that fast, you you got some work to do. Yeah, I can say that. I I constantly watch um, Fatality a lot for Falcon. I watch obviously a lot of DK Will for Donkey Kong. I don't I don't watch anybody for Smash Four because nobody uses my character. Yeah, I, I can figure. There's no really no notable, like, Roy main. There's people who have notable players who have Roy as a secondary, but I saw this uh, player at, like, a major. He pulled out Roy, and he got destroyed. <laughs> but we got to cut it, man. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. Congratulations to Orlando for getting a lot of points. I'm sure you're in top spot now. You're in top eight for playoffs. So that's cool. going to be exciting. Oh, I got I to gotta show. This is my new controller because my old one, the wire towards the controller is ripped open and all the wires are showing so i'm using this one now oh wow upgrade son <laughs> anyways man congratulations once again and peace out guys thank you for watching the stream ran bats we'll be back here in two weeks <sighs> keep fighting keep training thank you gentlemen for uh commentating Congratulations again, Matt. Did a really good job. Um, so before we sign out, uh, again tomorrow we have our um, Shack Bats. Uh, I believe it's Ultra and what are we doing? What are we doing tomorrow? Ultra and Project M. Okay. Oh, Ultra and Melee is tomorrow. Um, I think that's our third. I believe it's our third weekend. But yeah, come on by. We start at eight, or we uh, open the doors at eight, and the tournament starts at nine. And you can find the details at ankgfighters.com. So make sure you swing on by, come support the scene, even if you don't play. Uh, we also have like a, um, like a random surprise game or something like that at the end too. And anybody can play that one. Like we had Bushido Blade last week. The other week we had, um, what do we have the other week for the random game? Oh, Dive Kick. So it's a lot of fun. And even, even, though, you don't, uh, even though you don't play, and it's a good, good hangout spot. Anyway, we're going to sign off here. Um, thanks again, everybody, for signing in and uh, watching the stream. And we will see you again in a couple weeks for the last, um, for the last round back. Good night, guys.